lot of arthritis is due to previous trauma. So there could be a lot of previous, uh, particularly with knees, a lot of previous knee injuries uh, that cause, that eventually lead on to degenerative conditions. Uh, many people have had previous surgery where they've had some resection of some cartilage in their knee and that may actually predispose them to arthritis in the long run. The primary symptom of osteoarthritis or arthritis in general is pain, uh, generally accompanied by a certain amount of stiffness and that also has an impact on activities of daily living that could be walking, stair climbing, and obviously a variety of sports type activities. Uh, with hip arthritis, what we typically see is pain, but the stiffness is really what brings people in. So having difficulty tying their shoes, having difficulty uh, getting on and off the toilet and things like that. So as they start to notice that the hip just doesn't move like it used to anymore, uh, that's, that's oftentimes what brings them in. Most people see their primary care doctor for these types of symptoms first. Uh, they usually try anti-inflammatory medications. A lot of them try over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications and then move to prescription medications with their primary care doctor. Uh, we get referred typically when those things aren't working and oftentimes the next step is some sort of an injectable medication. There's two basic types of injectable medications. There are steroid or cortisone injections and those have been done for years and they're quite effective. Uh, there are also non-steroid, we call them visco supplementation injections. Most people refer to them as gel injections or by a variety of other names. There's a variety of procedures that we do that are not joint replacements that may stave off or delay joint replacements and that's primarily with knees. Uh, we can go in sometimes and do a fairly small procedure to clean out Again, people call that scraping out, but it's not really scraping anything. Uh, but cleaning out knee, knees and taking out small pieces of cartilage that cause pain, and it may not fix the problem in the long run, but there again, it can certainly restore your activity to where you want to be and buy some time, if you will, before you need a knee replacement. Mm -hmm.